Hi, it's October 2nd, 2022. I um, had made a goal of making a video every day for 30 days um, since I retired, and I've done that. But um, I thought it would be really important to talk about I'm 68 and getting older and I've worked for over 25 years in nursing homes where I take care of people that are um, will eventually die. Some of them were there for rehab and went home but uh, I've talked to my family about I don't want anything extra done. And there's a strange thing in the United States where um, if you go into a nursing home and you don't have money to afford it, uh, you can get on Medicaid. But then once you pass away, the government, there's a law that they come back after your stuff to get repaid. So you have uh, a window where you can um, have some stuff, like my house that I have. Um, but if I sold that or gave that to my children, there's a five-year window, and say if in five year, if four years from now, I ended up having a stroke and having to go to a nursing home, and they say, oh, everything will be paid for on Medicaid, um, they'll come back and try to make my family, my family will have to sell the house to pay for that. That's the law. And I don't want any of that to happen, and I think a lot of people aren't aware of it, and they're surprised. I think it's really important to know that. And there's other things too, like if you go into a nursing home, um, there's rules and regulations there. I personally do not want anything extra done. I don't want any extra medication. <laughs> if I'm in pain, I w would like something for that. But I don't want um, a lot of extra stuff. I don't want any extra medications that like, if I have a AFib, I don't want to be treated for that. I want to let my death be natural, as natural as possible. And uh, it just seems like it's a part of life. And just let it be the way it is and not be making money for somebody else under the idea of treating me um, good. To treat me good would be to let life be the way it is. Uh, I've, I've even thought about the death with dignity, which is illegal where I live. Um, it's legal in some places in the United States, if you're terminal, and there's a lot of paperwork that has to be done with that. But um, I think it's really important for people to talk with their family and have everything in order. Even for young people, because young people, things happen to where they might end up in a car accident or anything can happen. Uh, heart attacks. You can fall and be injured or get injured at playing sports. Um, so many things can happen. It's just the way life is. But the surprise comes in payment in the United States. A lot of people aren't aware of it, they don't know what to do, and I think it's uh, totally unethical. Um, I worked to make payments on my house. I, I've worked hard for something that I don't want to be taken away from my family. And I think that life is uh, beautiful and wonderful and uh, I think um, that my physical body dying is a uh, movement into another place. Uh, I don't know if my spirit will live or if my body will just disintegrate and become part of the earth. Either way, it's uh, the way it goes. And um, it's fabulous, in my opinion. And I know people don't want to let go of their loved ones, but um, you have to talk about what it is you want. And you have to 
educate yourself on everything that's available and make sure that your choices are told. If you have a doctor, tell your doctor, get paperwork in order, do everything you can. That's what I've done. And I tell my family right where the paperwork is. Don't do anything extra. Keep me at home if you can. Hospice is, is completely paid for, but if you get Medicaid, you have to pay that back. It's like a loan. It's not the simple thing that people are told. Oh, it'll all be taken care of. That's, that's an illusion. So anyway, um, it's chilly today. I have my coat on, but I have it open. So it's not that cold, but um, it's a beautiful day. I'm grateful for you and hear your service.